Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna do something I've never been able to do before. We're gonna catch a mole in a live trap. Now moles can be a huge nuisance by digging holes in your yard, leaving mounds everywhere, but so far all the videos I've posted on how to trap moles are kill traps, and I get a number of comments from viewers wanting to know if there's a live catch option. So I went to Amazon and I found a really simple trap. Here it is, moles live underground in tunnels, and it's basically a plastic tube or tunnel you bury underground in their path, They'll come along through the one-way door of this plastic flap and get caught. And we have the doors on either side so you can catch a mole coming from both directions. Now if we do catch a mole, you can pull it apart from the center and let him go. I'm curious if a mole will actually go in there. So let's go to the yard, set up the trap, and see what happens. Here's a mole in my backyard I'd like to catch. There's a fresh mound here and over here, and in between's a tunnel. We'll dig it up and place our trap. I found a nice path on both sides. We'll place the trap. We'll see if we can catch a mole. Okay, it's now a month later. I've tried this trap at 10 different locations without a single mole, but I finally got one. Let's take a look. You can see his nose sticking out right there. There's some fur. We'll open up the traps and see what he looks like. Just slides apart. Ooh, this one looks feisty. I hope I don't get bit. The door seemed to work well. Come on out of there. What a fascinating animal. Its fur is some of the softest I've ever felt. Now he's pretty fast above ground, but everything about him is designed for living underground. He has powerful front paws with those huge claws. He can dig through the dirt so fast, he can basically swim through loose soil, making tunnels, searching for food. Now this is not a rodent. He doesn't have too big incisor teeth. Instead, he has sharp teeth for hunting grubs, worms, and vertebrates. He's basically a carnivore. Now to find those grubs, he has a very powerful nose. It's elongated, almost like an elephant trunk, very sensitive. His eyes and ears are so tiny, you basically can't see them. That way he's not getting dirt in them. And man, he is pretty fast. He doesn't calm down, hang out. He's always trying to get away. So I'm gonna take this mole far away from our yard where he can't dig it up, and we're gonna let him go. So here's a nice spot to release our mole. We're far away from any buildings or yards. The soil's moist, it's by a creek, it's full of worms. So I'll dig a hole and put our mole in. There's a nice worm right there. Let's watch our mole dig. You can really hear the sound of it chewing on roots as it digs. Well, this was fun. I've never seen a mole up close before, and I can't believe we caught it in the live catch trap. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube. Usually we catch mice and rats, but sometimes moles, voles, and gophers. I have many more videos coming soon, so stay tuned.